Are we lucky or what? We live in paradise. <laughs> it's an area that has been feeding souls for centuries. We're on Lummi Island. This is Lego Bay. Before settlers came here, this was a favorite beach for the Lummi nation. Now, longtime Lummi resident Riley Starks has teamed up with others to produce a crop that's new to commercial farming in our area. We're the first fully permitted commercial seaweed farm in the state of Washington. It's a win-win-win for the Salish Sea because it's healthy food, it helps the environment tremendously. You have to start with kelp from around here. It goes from, you can't even see the seeds are so small, to fronds that are 10 feet long. We're just hand pulling, basically. Each line they pull in can weigh hundreds of pounds. We just fill a tote and then we deposit it on the tender. We figure we can get about 500 pounds in these tall ones. Some will be frozen, the rest of it is gonna to go to a dehydrator in concrete. With its different flavor profiles and numerous health benefits, Riley says food is a natural market for their produce from the deep. We're concentrating on culinary um, because I have a culinary background um, and people eat seaweed all over the world. Chef Luke Culpin first cooked with seaweed when he worked at the famed restaurant Noma in Copenhagen. They would be at least 20% of the menu would have something in it. Now back in the States, Luke uses seaweed in some of the food he makes at his restaurant, Cedar and Elm. We make a really nice roasted seaweed kelp oil to go with uh, an olive oil cake. It adds a different element that you wouldn't normally get. Seaweed farming in Washington is still in its seed stage. Look at this beautiful kelp. I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I think we have four or 5,000 pounds on board right now. We're out of totes, so we, <laughs> we have no more room. But Riley and others hope the work they're doing now <laughs> will continue to grow into the future. This is the most fun I've had on the water 